Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Lantac Dragon Advanced Muzzle Brakes. Now these muzzle brakes here are fairly new into Australia. Now the two that I've got, they're both the same model, but I've got one here for 223 or 556 and the other one here for 308 or 762 by 51 Now the actual muzzle brake itself, okay, I'll give you a close up look at it. It just looks a little bit different, doesn't it? It's certainly got a lot of uh, ports on it. And their claim is that they can significantly reduce the recoil on your firearm. So we've got the top ports here. So if you do screw one of these on, you've got to make sure that the Lantac logo is facing in the 12 o'clock position, okay? So you've got these top ports um, facing to that 12 o'clock position. You've got ports on the side here, and there's also some channel ports on the front here just to uh, direct or deflect the gases when they're uh, actually coming out of the barrel. It is uh, just a matte black finish. These are the only ones that you can get. So if you've got uh, one for the 223, it's a half inch uh, by 28 uh, thread. So that's very common. That's the standard for most of the US made firearms for 223. And if you've got the 308 one here, it's actual uh, 5 8 by 24 thread, which is once again, pretty much the standard for a uh, 308 or 7.62 cal rifle uh, from the States. Now they come with an actual sample pack of uh, frog lube, okay, that's just in the top there. And there's also a uh, crush washer. Um, so obviously if you're screwing the muzzle brake onto the firearm, that washer there can just uh, sit under it. So the price of these uh, two are a little bit different. So the 223 is $189 and we've got $209 on the 308. So let's get straight out on the farm now and see if these muzzle brakes have got the goods. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is start off with the Ruger SR762. And as you can see, I've screwed off the original uh, flash hider off the front there. So what we've done with that is just to see two things. First of all, the recoil just from the 762 as standard, no muzzle brake, no nothing on the front. And also the point of impact on paper down there at 100 yards. Then what we'll do is we'll uh, put on the Lantac uh, muzzle brake and we'll see the reduction in the recoil and also see if there's any shift in the point of impact there at 100, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna see if this is suitable there uh, for siding in obviously now so I can go out and use it on a contract. So uh, if it's you know quite useful and it reduces the recoil and allows me to keep on target and get better shots off to control greater numbers of feral pests, well, it's a win-win situation. But anyhow, we'll put through uh, five rounds. We've got the uh, Outback ammo, the 165 grain uh, Sierra Game Kings, just a factory ammo here. We'll just put through five shots to start with without any break, no flash hider, nothing on the front. And you can see, as I say, the recoil and just the point of impact. Then we'll screw on the muzzle brake and we'll see the reduction from there. All right guys, so now we've got the Lantec uh, muzzle brake screwed on. So we should see quite a difference uh, in the recoil especially. So we'll just see how we go out there firing the five shot group to see if our point of impact has changed.
Okay, so we'll go down and have a look at a, uh, the target at a moment, guys. But you can see, I can feel it anyway, and we'll see how, when we do the editing for this video, how the difference is there with the recoil. I can definitely feel it's a lot lighter, but obviously you've got a whole heap more blast, so it's a bit of a trade-off, I guess. Anyhow, we'll go down to the target and we'll have a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, target here. On the left, we've got the first five shots without the muzzle brake. And as you can see, I mean, look at that. It's, you know, uh, high and to the right. Then when we move over with the Lantac muzzle brake on, we're actually come dead centre, but just low. So I'm just going to have to bring that up a couple of clicks and it'll be uh, zeroed right on. But uh, definitely a different point of impact, and that's why it's important not only for myself doing feral pest control, but even if you guys were to use one of these like on a bolt gun or saw something similar, definitely get out and sight it in first because I mean, this is only at 100. Could you imagine how far off you'd be if you didn't sight it in and you were shooting at say 200 or 300 yards? So anyhow, that's quite interesting, the results. So uh, let's get back to the bench and we'll get the 223 out and see how that goes. Okay guys, so we've got the uh, SR556 here and we're using the standard Hornady 55 grain VMAX. As you guys know, I absolutely love this round. Now, we've uh, got nothing on the front here, no flash hider, nothing at all, just to keep the test consistent. And we'll put uh, five rounds down range there, 100 yards, see how we go, and then we'll put the Lantac muzzle brake on and then see the results there, see if there's a shift in the impact as well. Okay guys, so we've got the uh, Lantac muzzle brake on the SR556 here. Let's just see how five shots go out there at 100 if we've got any difference in the point of impact and also if we can notice any difference in the recoil.
Right guys, some interesting results here. So we see a different point of impact, don't we? I mean, this is without the break, and we've got a nice little cluster, nice group here, and then it seems to have spread a bit more with the break. But I found the complete opposite with the uh, 308 break. So I don't know, I think to be quite honest, um, with a 223, I'll just see how it goes, perhaps for a few more rounds and just see if I can tighten that group in a little bit there. Uh, but I think I'll give that a go with the pest control, just see how we go. Same with the 308, definitely. But anyhow, you can definitely see there is a different point of impact. So it's imperative if you do get one of these brakes, or any muzzle brake for that matter, always remember the safety, get out in the field, make sure you're sighted in and it's shooting where it should be. All right, guys, I'll finish up with my final thoughts on the Lantac muzzle brakes. Now to start off with, uh, I have to be honest with you guys, I don't have a whole heap of experience with muzzle brakes, okay? Normally I guess I'm a glutton for punishment, I prefer the old fashioned just take the recoil and go with it, but I have used a handful of them. From the ones that I've used, definitely these ones reduce the recoil the most of what I've seen. However, there is a one big negative and a trade off and that's just the sheer noise that comes out of these. Now look, I've got these decent Sense Digital, um, ear uh, plugs in as you guys may have seen that review they reduce the noise quite significantly of firearm noise and still through that i mean i'm getting some pretty loud noise coming through off these muzzle brakes so look that's something you'd have to really consider i guess it'll be a bit of a trade-off but i'll leave that in your hands because each of us are different with what we like and what we don't like Anyhow hey guys, if you are looking at one, um, I got mine from Cleavers, obviously he's the closest to where I am, so have a look in your local gun shop or you can put in a uh, mail order from Cleavers. Alright guys, till next time, take care and we'll catch you then.